The Lord said, you're going to be for me or you're going to be against me. So when you go against the word of God, the commandments of God, the statute, the judgment, the law that God gave Moses, mm. we are more blessed now. We got so much of grace on us right now because back in those days when God said, don't do this or don't do that, like we told Noah, he said, all the people get it right, get it right. Noah and his family are the only ones that desire to go and obey God and what he said and God told him what to do so they would be protected and everything while the other ones out there laughing. So we see what God did. He, he almost said it that he had made man. He, you know, wiped them out. And everything, and the same way went Sapphira, Sapphira, I believe it was Leon, yes, and her yes. husband. Uh -huh. They said they were going to they were going to sell a certain piece of land, and now if they would have said we're going to we're going we're going to sell a certain piece of land, but we're going to keep a portion, but we're going to give the church a portion of it. Now if they would have said that, that would have been okay, but they said we're going to give it all to the church. So they, so when they came to give it, and then the, 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 the ones that were there to receive the money, they said, you have lied to the Holy Spirit, because you said you were going to give it all, and you kept some, and then the wife came in and lied behind the husband. So there it is, the Lord wiped them out. But then, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, and who died for our sins, and he gave us grace. Now we live in a time of grace, and the Lord letting people know you still have a decision. I'm telling you, God's long suffering, the long suffering of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the mercy, the grace, the compassion of not zapping us out, holding back the winds of strife. Oh, he's holding it back, Leon. Mm. He's holding it back because when he look at the same-sex marriage, when he look at the lesbian, when he look at the people aborting these precious babies, this is God's creation. He created man and he can only uh, 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 take the life away. Then go turn around and then sell the baby's body part. Lord, have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. When the Lord looking at all of this, murder, taking people, I mean, everything going on. I'm telling you, God could have been a white us out a long time ago, but it's all because of his grace, his love, and his mercy, and he's trying to give us a chance to get it right, to tell as many people as we can about salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because God don't want no man to perish, but he said that he want all to come to repentance through his, his son, his only begotten son. His only big, big son that gave his life that no man would perish and everything. So, therefore, God, he is just holding back. He's holding back because of his love, because of his mercy, because of his grace. So that all men will come and they will confess the Lord Jesus with their mouth and believe that God has raised them from the dead and give their lives unto Almighty Jehovah God before Jesus come back to take the church home. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Speechless. So that so that's the reason why for all those who are now tuning in. That's the reason why Jesus hasn't returned yet. No man knows the time or the hour when our Savior will return, but he's soon to come back. But it's because of what my mother, Evangelist Pat Perley, just conveyed to the world that he sees the evil, he sees all of the sin, and he wants, you know, through his mercy, his grace, his long suffering, to see every person saved and living in heaven when they take their last breath and so that brings me to my last and final question mom when it's all said and done you know god is holding back his wrath he's he's showering us with love compassion we have the opportunity right now every boy girl man woman and the whole white world has the opportunity to receive jesus christ as their personal lord and savior if if, if he came back today, would you be ready is the ultimate question. So, Mom, I leave you with this, and you're going to break it down. What would be the legacy of evangelist Pat Pearlie's life when it's all said and done, when God 
calls us home. Hebrews 9, 27 says, For it is destined for every man to die once, then face judgment. But we, as the body of Christ, won't receive the same judgment that you read in Revelation 20, verse 15 at the great white throne. We are in the 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, a uh, 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 judgment for the believers, the saints, not where we, will, where we will spend eternity, but how we will spend eternity. When it's all said and done, Ma, what type of legacy would you want and would you leave behind for the world to know? I would just like to say, Leon, and these are actually not my words, Leon. These are not my words. These are uh, at least three to four people came uh, to me, and pretty much this week alone, one lady came to me. She's the main usher at our um, church, and she said, Sister Pearl, I just wanted to let you know her daughter's about 40-something. She said, my daughter said that... Um, Mama, it's no offense to you. I love you dearly. But when I come into the full knowledge of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I would like to be the kind of Christian that Sister Pearlie is. And I've heard that at least from three three to four people this very week, um, they have started up another class, and they said, you know, um, Sister Pearlie is ready. The thing is, I tell them, I don't want them to see me. I don't want them to see this filthy flesh. Because in this flesh dwell is no good thing. All of them that have come to me, I have told them, and I leave this legacy, that confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and know that you are saved. Why? Because you desire to be saved. You desire to be saved. Because with the heart, man, believe it, with the mouth, the mouth, the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That ain't no light word. That ain't no light uh, scripture. That is powerful words and everything. I want them to be able to look at my life and how I uh, 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 move this flesh back in the rear and allow the power of God's precious Holy Spirit to go forth. Getting up in the middle of the night and praying, praying, just praying. First of all, before I pray, I, 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 the, when the Lord woke wake me up, he told me this over four, nearly 50 years ago, when I wake you up, that's our time to go into devotion. I wake up and I will worship him and love on him and praise him and thank him and, and, and just glorify my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank God for the Holy Spirit dwelling in me right then. And then I begin to pray, pray for all the needs across the nation that God put into my spirit. And then when I get through, I go into studying a little devotion. And then once I did that, and then I go to sleep, I say, Lord, you show me what's on your heart. Show me who you want me uh, 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 to walk into their life or walk them into my life for me to minister to that day. I want to find myself in a food pantry ministering to God's people that as they go out the door with that bag of food that I give them a track that's saying, Jesus is coming, are you ready? Or uh, to be in the children's church where we just got through uh, 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 praying for over uh, uh, nearly 30, 40 some babies where we taught vacation Bible school for nearly two two months and these babies that gave their life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to find myself uh, 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 praying with the intercessor. I want to find myself praying to somebody on the street that is hurting or that is lost or that is ready to give up or getting these phone calls uh, 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 speaking about the health and wellness but God give me to find out about their spiritual life and do they know Christ and everything. So that's all that I'm saying is that I want people to know me by the very works of the power of the Holy Spirit of Almighty Jehovah God. Not Sister Pearlie, not this flesh, not my life, but the power of the Holy Spirit. There's this saying, what did you do with Jesus? What did you do with Jesus? Every since an uh, individual has been converted, what did we do with Jesus? Did we go out and spread the gospel? The Lord said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every nation. It could be next door. It could be across the street. It could be at the store. It could be at the work. It don't make no difference where it is. What are we doing 
with this life that God has given us in our living Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Man, no, I mean, no said on that one. That it's official. And so, Hallelujah. say Hallelujah. God, God, God is so good. I, I just enjoyed this, this, this interview so much, Bob. Like for a second, you, ha uh, I, I, like I said, I, I was speechless. I forgot that I was doing the radio interview. I was just enjoying my mom talking and and sharing. Like that's what the Holy Spirit does. He makes you very, very comfortable. And so, I, so the Holy Spirit is like, hey, hey, you gotta get back to the interview with your mom. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here. But I, I enjoyed your testimony, mom, immensely. Like, like it's, it's, it's nothing like God saving us when He did, and, and, and going into come for Jesus to come into the realm of time for us to be able to see the, the example and the ministry. And to go forth just it just amazes me every single day and then to see us being able to fellowship like this collectively as a family uh abiding in one spirit unto the holy spirit is just i'm i'm just i'm just like just in awe right now so share with us mom um uh, where can we get you know uh, more information uh concerning the uh, the vitamin ministry and um any thank yous or anything that this is your time for like the sh i call it the shout outs but uh um uh, but definitely first do the uh the how people can get in contact with you uh uh, uh concerning the, the vitamin business and then go ahead and do your thank yous and people that you want to give a shout out to Okay, yes, I would like to give a shout out to my uh, precious children, Larry, Leon, that I'm talking to now, and Patricia, uh, my precious siblings, my brothers and sisters, my precious mom, and I would like to give a shout out to St. Louis Bible Way and all of my sisters and brothers there to keep on keeping on for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I would love to give a shout out to the whole world. Do not miss this wonderful invitation, the best invitation you can receive in your whole life is to know Christ Jesus in the pardon of your sin. I would love to send you uh, some information, informative information. You can go on my website. Uh, I have it uh, posted. Uh, we have some updated things that are being done right now. But if you go to www.blessyourhealth dot info. That's www.bless b l e s s y o u r h e a l t h dot i n f o. Bless your health dot info. You will see the plan of salvation. You will see uh, my life and how God has blessed me through this life that he has given me in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You will also see the information of Thailand's best. Go on there and look at the herbs and give me a call. And if you click on some others, you'll see some other things God is doing in my life. But you can also call me. Call me anytime for prayer. Uh, call me anytime. If you're ready to give your life to Christ, call my son, Leon, Pastor Leon. Call myself, whoever you have to get to in order to confess and repent. You can just cry out to God right where you are. His line is never busy. He's always ready to receive those that want to come into salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My phone number is 314-725-6140. That's 314-725-6140 or that's 314-306 9017. I also have a post office box because I have a prison ministry that God has given me to reach out to those that are incarcerated in order to minister to them that God loves everybody. He don't have no favorites. He don't have no favorites. He don't love one no more than he loved the other or love one no less than he loved the other. He looks at us 
as his creation and he loves us all. We're not here to judge nobody, to assume, to uh, 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 do anything that would cause anybody to feel discouraged or despondent. But we just want you to know that God has sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but you can have eternal life with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So just give me a call. I'll give you my post office box so you can get my post office box right off the website and I will be glad to send you spiritual lit uh, uh, literature and I'll be glad to also send you any literature on Thailand's best healing and weight loss herbal ministry as well as some other good vital information that will bless you and bless your family. God bless you all in Jesus name and I thank you for listening. I thank my precious son for giving me this wonderful opportunity to lift up my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to glorify God and to let the Holy Spirit go forth to do the work through speaking through me as it just did. Thank you, Leon. Mama, love you. I love you with all of my heart and I love each of you and to God be the glory for the great things he has done, what he's doing and what he's going to do. Mom, you gave birth to me. You can come on the show anytime you feel like it. <laughs> Power of those 6.5 Speak Life Radio Pastor Leon Pearly We're signing off Evangelist Pat Pearly A.K.A. My Mama Grace and blessed us tonight Immensely Like I said before On the radio show I just had a blast And uh, you guys Be sure to tune in Next week uh, We got another special Show for you guys But you guys be blessed Like I always say When I sign off Keep God first And the rest last And we are out God bless